Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Devin Adams, continuing our really short, and I say short because I'm pretty sure I could add some uh, other other things here, but my really short SSL VPN 48 demo. So in the last video, we got the web portal up, we got the FortiClient installed. Um, now we're going to go ahead and configure our SSL VPN tunnel on the FortiGate. So let's go back into our support uh, laptop and we'll go into our local FortiGate and we are now going to go to our VPN and we're gonna go to portals and we made one for sales if you guys remember see sales but now I'm gonna double click this bad boy and I'm gonna configure it for tunnel mode so now split tunneling says hey if you are on your local machine right so Paul's machine and you are trying to get to company resources go ahead and push it out through the SSL VPN tunnel and access it then but if you're going anywhere else like you know looneytunes.com or or some fun place like that eh, you can use your own your own traffic and the benefits and the and the disadvantages there you could probably think of a few um, especially if you had real sensitive laptops or real sensitive information on those laptops you might want to force everything down that tunnel but for right now that's okay so alright guys so our routing address this is how it's gonna make that routing decision and send it down the SSL tunnel and then source IP pools alright so this is the one that was created when we said uh, just give us an IP address alright so and then should we allow the client to save their password sure should we allow them to connect automatically you know what why not just because it's 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 Paul all right <laughs> anyways um, anyways maybe maybe not you'd want to do that and also the keep alive guys is also where it'll trickle down little hello messages so Paul doesn't have to try to reconnect his SSL VPN tunnel so for right now just for you know you don't want too many moving parts when you're testing this that's not our goal I'm just gonna simply leave it at that so I'm gonna hit OK so nothing there has changed with the authentication groups or any of our firewall policies either right remember our goal is just to have Paul to be able to access his uh, HR portal but now instead of using the web portal he's gonna use his SSL VPN so now we're gonna go over to Paul's machine right wherever it is here it is it actually rebooted after installing that for client so and remember he's at home or somewhere out in the world we don't care we don't know right where he's coming in from so let him uh, go ahead and do his thing log in ah look there's that koala right so and now we're gonna configure that SSL VPN tunnel so here we go for the client This guy's looking at me. Come on. I do all these off of my laptop, so sorry guys that it's slow. It's not the fastest thing in the world. So maybe I should do like a Kickstarter. Buy me a new laptop. Buy me a 40 switch. I want 40 switches, by the way. You can't virtualize those. So alright, here we go. Uh, I don't care about compliances, that's a different lesson, but we do want remote access. Alright, so we're gonna configure the VPN. And we're gonna say to HQ or something like that. All right, so this is gonna be SSL VPN, and the remote gateway is gonna be 10.200.2.1. All right, and also we don't care about the invalid cert certificate. We should, but ours isn't valid, so you have to click that off. All right. Also, do you want to be prompted? Do you want to save the login? I'm going to leave that up to you guys. All right, we're going to hit apply. Okay. Yeah, cute. I knew that there was some script on these free VMs that Microsoft do, that Microsoft do, <laughs> that Microsoft gives us. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to, yeah, all right. Anyways, um, I'm like, where did my koala go? Let's go ahead and close. Alright, so now, I'm just going to close out of here. Now Paul needs to get back to the office, okay? 
So he's going to say for the client, right? And he is going to say uh, 2HQ. And he's going to put in his password, Paul. And then also his Windows login. Hit connect. All right. That last bit always takes a little bit longer. So, but if everything worked out okay, we should, this should minimize, I believe, and then we should be in theory connected. So, um, or it gets stuck at 98 and nothing happens. Ooh, it didn't work. Okay, okay. Interesting. Look at this. A vulnerability was found. What's up with that? You know what's interesting about that, though? It did not give me an error message. Isn't that interesting, guys? Hmm. Let's try that one more time. Maybe I fat fingered his password. Now, there is log files that we can look at. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, totally did not work. You are absolutely right, my friend. Interesting. Interesting that the web portal worked, but this one did not. So, But it did not stop at like 45%. It just simply didn't connect. So probably the first place I'd check, right? Because if it made it that far, probably made it to the FortiGate. So let's go to our FortiGate, all right? And if we go to our user and devices, nope, I lied. Login reporting, and we go to our VPN events. Let's take a look on what happened there. All right, so SSL web application blocked. What is going on there? See the new connection, and then the deny. What is up with that, huh? Let's check out the details. Yeah, right there again, too. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well, the tunnel came up then. Come on, details. You can do it. <laughs> Reason unknown. I love it. Reason unknown. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. So. The only thing that I can think of is it did say that it quote unquote found a vulnerability on my machine. And I wonder if, because uh, if you look at that, guys, I mean, it, it did do the connection. I mean, there was even a, a tunnel established here. See how it says Paul, sales group, SSL, VPN, tunnel up, right? And then looks like it was uh, tunnel down, so... Because the web ones should look a little bit different, by the way. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, there's the pass. That's for web application. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and see if I didn't miss something in our VPN settings. I love showing you guys stuff that's broken. Don't you wish it was all just fixed? So here we go. SSL VPN settings. All right. Listening on the ports. Yep, that's fine. Tunnel mode. Assign the same. Specify. DNS server. 
All right, sales group authentication in the portal. Nope, that's right. That's okay. No, it still looks okay. Hmm. I'm not too sure, guys, to be honest with you. I did do the right interface. Okay. All right, let's go to sales. And it looks like it's still trying to patch a vulnerability. So why don't I hit pause? See, I'm not too sure about this. It did say that it found a, a vulnerability. Yeah, cute. Windows updates. And I wonder if there's something like hard-coded in there, like maybe not a compliance check per se, but just kind of like a, hey, you know what? It is giving us problems. So I'm going to pause it, let it finish. I'm actually going to pack up and start doing stuff like that. And I'll just be right back here, guys. Okay? So I'm just trying to eliminate that variable before we do a little troubleshooting so all right i'll see you in just a second all right guys hey i'm back um so about 30 minutes had passed so essentially i went over to my fortigate and remember i was going to let the vulnerability scan start and i was going to make the mistake with the the fsso uh lessons where you sit here and watch me for like an hour going dar uh, but I found something pretty interesting. So if I go to my login reports and I go to my VPN events here, all right, I kept on getting these web denied whenever I tried to use the um, whenever I tried to use the uh, connection. The uh, um, sorry guys, I've been spacing out of lag files. When I was trying to find the the SSL VPN tunnel software. On the on the sales fortigate so it looks like the tunnel will come up and then it'd be blocked by this application block and I'm just like what is going on right so I went ahead and did a little googling and everyone was just like uninstall reinstall uninstall reinstall you know and going back and forth on the, all of the forums and I'm like you know what it should not really be that hard so I'm gonna have to look into it uh, I know that's kind of a crappy answer um, but I did find the weirdest solution in the world. Now here's the thing guys, the, the technical assistance center, they're your friend, you pay for a support contract, and if this was my production network and I found this behavior, I would have reported it. All right, so, but if I go to my sales machine, all right, this is Paul out in the great, you know, beyond, <laughs> anyways, wherever he is, uh, and uh, he can access the web, and we saw that just fine, and I can consistently do that too, so, uh, but when I try to go into tunnel mode, it gives me uh, a 98, and then it fails, all right, um, now, interesting, interestingly enough, one of the other things that I did was take off the older version and put on or the newer version and put on one that I found directly from my 5.4 folder in the support website. Now, in theory, that shouldn't have made a lick of difference, um, and it didn't. I was still getting the same error, so I'm only bringing that up to be transparent here and uh, to show you everything that I've done. Um, but essentially, even though I'm, I'm using a different version of Porta Client, I just took out the compliance stuff. Remember how I was doing the vulnerability scanning? I just didn't want to sit through that also. So, but go ahead and uh, let's let's see this guy. So here's Paul, okay? Here's his Windows login. We hit connect. All right. He gets to 98%. I cross my eyes. I pick my nose. I try to think up a good lie of why I'm so late. Seriously, you now connect, you piece of crap. All right, guys, that was not working for me for the longest time. All right, but interestingly enough, if I came down here, right clicked, and uh, let me let me disconnect. And I, I tried this about four times because I couldn't believe it. But um, but if I went ahead and I came... Okay, let's close this. Of course that would work once I hit the record button. Um, but if I had that interface and I tried to do it, it failed at 98 all the time and gave me a block web message. But if I right click down here and said connect to HQ and got this interface that actually looks different okay this looks different it connected every time and I have no idea why that almost feels buggy um, 
not very confident there of, of why one would work and not the other then magically it'd work uh, if I consistently had problems though um, I'd have to open up a tech ticket so maybe you know it was just that whole you're first using it things are kind of you know I don't know I, I actually at this point I'm I'm an hour overdue of going home uh, <laughs> I want to go home but as you guys can see there I mean in theory Paul should be able to do that and then also you know the the whole point here right was to get Paul to be able to access like his internal resources no matter where he is see how this is uh this is uh what you call it still accessing the internet all right there's our internal website what so I mean it is working so um, and then if we do a a command prompt here and do a net stat will actually show me the two different portals I can't even remember if it'll do that so but um we could essentially do a maybe a ping trace or something like that okay okay it did work so you can see it right here how I'm accessing an internal resource so it's using the logical FortiGate adapter that was installed right everything else though the interwebs all my normal networking traffic is just going out here so um, so guys I mean there you go there's the difference between the two now in all honesty though I do not like um, that you know it wouldn't work when it worked and then magically started working in fact let me hop over to my FortiGate that, that makes me 40 mad so as you can see it says establish see how I found Paul's and sales without me even even doing anything there so um, and it's still calling it SSL type web now honestly I, I I'm gonna play around with that more if I find something different guys because I'll just show you I mean not even that long ago um, that's the error message I was getting yeah <laughs> my favorite is is uh reason unknown right and uh, yeah I'd probably contact the TAC or bust out some of my debugging commands that we learned in class but um I mean now it's working though so which is kind of kind of weird so um, but then again once again it might just be um, I don't know me turning up tunnels so much me being in a virtual environment right instead of a real environment but anyways I'm gonna stop right there and honestly uh, Jason I think it was Jason Jason had a really good question that wasn't actually to do with VPN tunnels it had to do with authenticating using LDAP through these VPN tunnels so I'm gonna stop the video here because it's going on too long and then when I come back I'm gonna purposely try to break it again so um, I'll see you guys in just a moment and uh, thanks for watching so